Hello and welcome from Dave M0 OGY to the uh, part 2 review of the new Vortex Quasar Q82 Mark II vertical antenna. Hope you enjoyed the first part review um, with the, it working on some propagation on some skip. This antenna is designed for 10, 11 and 12 metres. In this part of the review I'll uh, be having a, a look at the overall build quality while it's tilted over and with a rig expert analyzer check the bandwidth and the SWR curve. Well firstly build quality, typical vortex. This antenna, uh, can't really see the tip of it but it's around 20, 28 foot long, 13 foot long uh, for the basket which you we're looking at there. Normally this uh, style of antenna which is uh, a redesign of the original 1970s antenna specialist Sigma 4 of anti-Sigma 4 uh, has a lot uh, shallower lower basket which is a bit wider as well on the diameter. This basket is roughly 13 foot long so, you know, getting on for half the overall length of the antenna. It's not too unwieldy. The um, antenna, I find it quite easy to manhandle, but it is around 15 kilograms. But uh, looking around it, typical Vortex build quality, built like a tank. Plastic, all this using uh, staff clamps um, all the fasteners and fixings used on the antenna a stainless steel with nylock nuts not shake loose radiating element all uh, using heavy duty exhaust clamps Certainly no Jubilee clips or anything cheap and nasty on that. There we are. Also, there are a lot of uh, geese going over. There's a gamma match, which is preset and sealed at around 27. 0.500 from the factory, can adjust it up and down and also if, if you so wish, which I doubt you need to, you can adjust the top uh, section as well. Moving down the mount, the element mounts into a substantial aluminium box section it's all cross drilled with the uh, stainless fasteners the mount heavy duty aluminium channel mounted to box section with stainless u-bolts and uh, a cap at the bottom which has got a large hole obviously to let the uh, water escape if any does uh, fill up in it Overall, it's around 28 foot long and uh, the basket's 13 foot as I said earlier. So it is a big antenna, large antenna, 15 kilograms. Um, and uh, there you have it. So later in this video, I've got a short coaxial patch lead made of uh, RG213. Um, I'm going to uh, test it out here with the analyzer, so catch you in a bit. Looking at the antenna connection now, the stock unit comes with a SO239 connector, an heavy duty, good quality one. This is good for 2 kilowatts, which is more than adequate for the majority of users. As uh, we all know, 12 watts SSB is the maximum permitted power legally in the UK on Citizens Band Radio. 
and 400 watts is the maximum allowed on amateur radio so more than enough for the uh, standard user but there is a heavy duty uh, coupler available for anyone who wishes to use QRO uh, it's all on the options list on the uh, Vortex website a little bit more money but uh, if that's your bag you can uh, go there so that coupler goes direct into the gamma match there's no wires or anything it's just bolted straight through so with a there's a nut and a shape proof washer so it direct up to that gamma match so just thought I'd point that one out for anyone uh, who's thinking of running more than that which uh, uh, I don't think many will, but there you go. Right, welcome back. Um, got the antenna plugged in now with a, a short lead into the Rig Expert AA600 analyzer, which is quite an high end unit. I've just done a few plots on the laptop, and this is showing the uh, SWR from uh, 27 megs all the way up to 28 megs so as you can see it's quite low and flat all the way across on the uh, 27 meg band there were uh, 27500 I've just adjusted it a little bit with a gamma match to get it that little bit lower so uh, that's the first test showing the on the rig expert unit just plotted this graph this is all the way from 23 megs all the way up to 31 megs the dip down there so that's 23 to 31 on the anal analyzer Right, one final graph on the antenna. This is what's uh, known as a Smith's chart. I hope you can see that due to the sun. So that's the Smith's chart for the uh, Vortex Q82 Mark II. Right, well I hope you've enjoyed the second part video review of the Vortex Quasar 82 Mark II. Uh, we've enjoyed uh, bringing it to you, thanks to Phil, M0 Papa X-Ray Sierra for his help in uh, doing the uh, second part of the review. It certainly shows that this antenna is uh, very wideband, it's got a, a very flat curve bandwidth, an SWR, and it's uh, good to use on 10, 11 and 12 metres. I will be uh, bringing you a third part review when the antenna's installed on the new mast with uh, some Ecoflex 10 cable that's coming next week and we'll see how it uh, performs on air. So on that note, thanks for watching the video. Best 7.3 from Dave, M0, OGY, North Lincolnshire. Thank you, bye bye.